Welcome back, I'm Erica and today I'm going to talk about my new, I think it's my favourite book. It's at least in the top five books and it is the Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan Safran Fowler. So this book, I don't know how to explain it, but basically it's like a correspondence between a guy named Alex and, and he lives in Ukraine and a guy named Jonathan that lives in the Americas and they have met during the summer because Jonathan wanted to go to Ukraine to find his grandfather, so Alex was his translator, and they experienced a lot of things there, so now they're both writing uh, each a book about the things they experienced, so they kind of send uh, chapters back and forth and comment on each, each other's chapters and the way they, what they experienced, and I did not expect to like this as much as I did. I, we watched the movie a year ago in English class, and I was kind of like, yeah, it's it's a bit interesting, but it wasn't my thing. But I still read this book because I wanted to read another book by him, but they didn't have it in the bookstore, so I kind of went with this one. And I don't regret it at all. It's a wonderful book. Seriously, it's so beautiful. Like, when I read this, I did not expect to find myself in the pages, but I do. All the time, I just see the way I think and he puts it into words so beautifully. Oh my god, I love it so much! And, like, when I read the pages and I see something, I'm like, oh, okay, I want this on my body. Like, I find the quote and I just want to chat of it onto my body. Okay, so, so the issues that I kind of am familiar with is issues about love, about writing, the way you kind of feel about putting your thoughts into words, and how to change your own self-image. Also, a lot of thought about the past, how to like uh, become united with your past and forgive other people and forgive yourself. Yeah, family, a lot about family. And of course, as many books written in Europe, it's about the Second World War as well. And I enjoyed it because it's not like, it's a central part of the story, but it's not the purpose of the story. And the characters were very nice. Uh, you kind of get like a perspective from one point of view, the Alex point of view, but you can really feel the other characters coming through as well. And the writing is like the most amazing part of this book because it's so versatile. Like depending on his writing, you just get a whole different style of writing, a whole different content. Oh, it's so beautiful, and I like that. He uses the way he chose his words to represent different personalities and different people and oh yes, 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 yeah, it's beautiful. And it's all about understanding people. I feel like you really get illuminated throughout the, this book. So in the beginning you're kind of like judging characters and the characters themselves are judging all the characters to be in the way that they think they are but actually they're not. But in the end they have kind of all become illuminated and understand how the other characters think and I think it's beautiful and it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it's funny and sometimes it's almost like detective work to kind of find out what he means and it's refreshing and puts the words in new contexts and new orders to just make everything feel like you're reading for the first time. It's a game changer, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. You will never want to read anything else after this one. The ending. Let me just give you a hint. Young Green couldn't do it. This guy, he does it. He really wants to crush his reader and he succeeds. The only thing that you might not like about this is that it's a bit hard to like get into in the beginning because there's so many different stories that you don't really understand in the beginning. You have to read a few chapters to get into the way the book is built up, but at the same time, if you do, it will be so worth it. So don't give up if you pick this up and find it odd. I found it odd in the beginning, but after a while it just all sunk in and was so beautiful and so amazing and it just makes me want to cry when I think about it. So. If you're looking for a good book, no matter how, who you are, just pick it up, pick this one up, I swear. If you, that was it for today, hope you enjoyed this review, I uh, hope it was clear with saying that you need to pick this book up. You need it, okay? 
good. Uh, I will see you in the next review. Bye!